What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gunner here and today I'm going to be, be reviewing the high grade Gundam H3. Now, first things first, this is a kit like I built almost a year ago now. Since the last year the Sigmasis rifle was gone and today I found it so I'm gonna decided to review this thing. Well you guys have been waiting for a model review anyways, so yeah next week is gonna be the Brave and I just took this from the shelf so this is not a new kit it is a kit that I bought a year ago so you may see some crap all over the place because my model reviews up my model my models are not up to snuff to the quality I built them today so you may see some crap all over I do not want to take the time to like shave them down or something because I just want to do the review and get it over with but anyways this is this is a split up into its two components the core fighter and the G sector. Well, it is basically like a transportation mode of the actual Gundam. And this, among fandom, reminisces the double Zeta because the double Zeta also splits into like two to three components and docks in together. Well, speaking of docking, let's dock this now. This action base actually comes with it. And it is on a ratchet joint for the core for the G sector and this you need to take it off for the core fighter so I'm gonna take the core fighter off and the G sector off and you may see the feet like collapsing a few times because I done this a lot back in the day so to transform the G sector you just put up the feet put down the legs and another thing the skirts are not broken. I just split the ball joints and now they're loose as all hell. I try spraying glass. I try, I try spraying glass and I try blue tacking it. Nothing works. So if this skirt falls off, well, I'm just gonna leave it for the rest of the video. And just straighten out the arms, rotate the, rotate the wrists, put down these binders. Same thing for the other side. And I also broke the like rotating joint on this arm well back in the day I was very reckless to towards my models until people like reflect up on me in the Kimaris Trooper review so let me just pull off these arms because this is a fake chest piece and this is not the ball joint that comes with it the ball joint that comes with it is loose as all hell so let me just put in the real chest and then put the arms back on and there it is ready to be docked now the core fighter you just put the wings down put the thrusters back open the cover there's the head flip up the age symbol slash cockpit pull the head out plug it in to the chest flip the flap down and then plug the core fighter onto the back and there it is the Gundam H3 complete. So the stickers, now you got the forehead, the eyes, the the back of the head, so the gray bits on the shoulders, the age symbol, and the white on the core fighter. So that is basically it for the mobile suit itself. And it still comes in this lead Gundam color scheme unlike the HFX. So yeah, it is a awesome kit in cosmetics. So for articulation, this is going to get a bit crowded here because there's a lot of stuff at the top and less at the bottom because this thing is very bulky. Well, the head is on a double ball joint so it can go up and down, forwards and back, rotates. The arms can rotate, go up and down at the shoulder, the shoulder the shoulder armor are actually individual. The arms, they can come out that far. Rotate above the elbow. Bend at the elbow at two joints flat out. And the wrist will rotate and wiggle. The shield pieces can rotate. And the stomach and waist are on double ball joints. The front skirts can move. Side skirts can move. Thrust butt thrusters can move, the legs can rotate at the thigh, they can go forwards and back separate from the waist, go side to side separate from the waist, 
Okay, go forwards, wrap a bit backwards. I'm gonna, not gonna remove the core fighter for now. They can barely go back, then go out really far, all the way actually. They are on a double jointed knee because of how it transforms. This piece of foot, this piece of knee armor can flip, flip up and down. The ankles can rotate side to side, then go forwards and back, rotate, and the toe can go down. And this piece of ankle armor can move up and down. So all in all, despite it being bulky, it is actually really articulate. Would you just look at that range? So, articulation for this guy is amazing. So, accessories. Now let's start with what comes with what comes on the kit. So, you have two beam saber emitters in the wrists, the slash arm shields. Now, this is what I like. Like non-handheld beam sabers. So, you can have something in this hand but you do also get some physical beam saber handles which are kind of tedious to get out so i'm not going to do anything to them and then finally you get the sigmaxis rifle so it goes in under slung you can store it in the back but i broke the handle while i'm building it the second time I messed up a, an H3 rifle. And yeah, here you go. It is, it does look kind of heavy, but it's actually very light because it's hollow on the inside. There's a metallic green sticker for the scope. And you can actually wield it pretty well. So this is the, all the accessories for the H3 normal. There is actually one kit I have that can compare this guy to. It is its successor, the Gundam HFX. So just look at the contrast of colors between the two because like the HFX does not have a single speck of red, but the normal has a bit of red like the original. But if you compare it with the H3 Orbital which I've built way a long time ago basically this guy really does contrast from all the red from the or orbital I'm probably gonna buy another one just to review it but anyways that is the review of the Gundam H3 normal so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you still like it please be sure to drop a like comments and also subscribe for more gaming videos model reviews and all that kind of stuff Subscribe to Ultra Prime Focus on Gaming and also Ace of Videos if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys. Bye bye.